Hello, it's Gail here from Ornamentology. As you can see, I'm in the kitchen. I've got a chandelier growing out my head. But you know what? I'm not a professional filmmaker. But today I thought I'd talk about how to make this very unpromising looking brown mannequin which is something a little more delightful. So, I have this book that I got from the um, charity shop for a pound, Chambers Technical Dictionary. It's very old, um, probably about 1950s, I think. And uh, I've, it was a bit had it when I got it. And so I've ripped some of the pages out and turned them into confetti, like this. Big lumps of confetti. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decoupage these pieces onto this mannequin. If you tear them into small enough pieces, it doesn't get all knotty and messy. You can just fiddle them into the shape. So what you need is PVA glue. I use the bottom of my milk container to mix this in. And it's PVA. I use the stuff from the Builders Merchant. I buy it by the gallon. It's cheaper that way. You can get it from art shops. That's not a problem. Two parts glue, one part water out the tap. So it's quite a runny consistency. So what you do is you take the mannequin, you blob the glue on him. I'm trying to do this by remote control, so it's a bit strange. Pick up your piece of paper and then just place it on. And what you want to do is overlap it so that there are no gaps, so that the whole thing is being decoupaged on. It kind of wanders about a bit to start with, but it gets there. And you just stick it on, tamping it down so that there's no rough bits. And then with a bit of... As the paper gets wet, it kind of gets a bit more um, compliant. And then you just dot it on into where you're going, making sure that you cover all the brown stuff. Stick it on, squish it in. The bits that you miss doesn't matter. You can take another small piece, tear that off to size, and just cover the bits that you've missed. It's not about it reading like a magazine. It's about it looking interesting. So. I'm going to cover the rest of this head. I'm going to leave the neck bit. I'm going to do a different colour. I've got some black tissue and I'm going to use that. Um, you can do this yourself um, with um, those polystyrene heads you buy really cheaply. It just makes them a bit more robust. Um, and then you can display your own hats on them in your own homes. But it's a great idea, I think. And um, I hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for your time now. Bye bye.